You yeah, know, I'm touching yeah. on like, you know, it stops right now. Things and like, I'm not harping on it. So I said, what f***ed up thing yes, you do today? Hey Phonetics, the Kardashian empire is in knots once again. And to be honest, this time, Travis Barker is getting pretty fed up with Kim Kardashian and Khloe's behavior. It's almost as if the family has reached its breaking point and shit is about to blow up. You won't believe what these two sisters have pulled this time. And what's even more shocking is the way Travis has reacted. Apparently, Khloe and Kim run a group chat and in it, they've added everyone who has something bad to say about Courtney. It's like a court hate club, and it's just been discovered. Yikes. You wouldn't want your own sisters running that behind your back. Now, there's a lot more to unpack here. And if you're wondering what in the heck went down that made Travis go absolutely bonkers and accuse the sisters of being evil-minded, jealous, and hateful, then stay tuned and make sure to smash that subscribe button for all the latest celebrity news. Let's dive straight into the tea. Ever since fans watched the first episode of the new season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, opinions are flying, sides are being taken, and the comments section is blowing up. If we rewind a little, last season, Courtney expressed her disappointment with Kim for taking a deal with Dolce & Gabbana so close to her wedding, which she felt took away from the specialness of her big day. Usual personality, because I don't really care about stuff like that, was to be like, oh my god, do it. Take the money and run. But because it was my wedding, it really wasn't business for me. It was such a special day. I feel like it takes away from the specialness. They tried to move past it, but this season, the conversation resurfaced. They watched what they said about each other in the show's edits, which reignited their feud. You're just a witch, and I hate you. Okay. Things escalated quickly when Kim told Court that her friends had been expressing concerns about her to the family in a group chat called Not Courtney. If you can't tell, that's a group chat that had everyone and their mother talking badly behind Court's back while she remained in the dark about it. You can never expect your own family to be doing you this dirty. It's on the side saying the opposite to us, so we're all confused and we're on a group chat that's actually labeled Not Courtney. But well, well, the Kardashians are built different. Kim claimed that in the group chat, they discussed why Court seemed like a different person. Why you're such a different person and why you have this vendetta out. Do you want to be a part of that? She even mentioned that Courtney's own kids had expressed concerns about her too. Your kids have even come to me with problems that they have and how you are, so. And as you can probably guess, Court was not happy to hear this and accused Kim of using this information as a weapon in their argument. Kim was just like using any weapon that she could find like to hurt me. After that, well, let's just say harsh words were exchanged. Fans have been taking sides on social media, and it turns out no one's safe. Yep, Court's friends have been feeling the heat too. Mainly because Kim suggested that her own friends were also part of the group chat. Some of Courtney's friends, including Simon Huck and Stephanie Shepard, have been asked if they were in the not Courtney group, and some fans have actually called them out. But Court investigated the whole situation herself and clarify that it seems her sisters were the only ones in that chat. She even shared screenshots of her own group chat with friends discussing the not Courtney group chat drama, clarifying their friends were not part of it. Kim is in deep shit though, but you know she's not one to back down. Now Travis has even gone as far as to suspect that these two are even using Court's ex Scott Disick as a weapon in their ongoing battle just to dim Courtney's happiness. You know, with a baby on the way and everything. Travis has decided enough is enough, and he's helping Courtney establish some real boundaries with her sisters. He's honestly had it with them and wants them to stop bullying his wife, especially during such an important time in her life. But here's the thing, this family feud is not fresh beef. Oh no, this pot's been boiling over for a while. Courtney has always been the odd one out in the Kardashian clan. She's been catching flack from her family, especially the formidable Kris Jenner, their momager, for longer than you'd care to know. Now, Kim and Chloe have often taken the mom's side in family skirmishness, pointing their perfectly manicured fingers at Courtney as the one to blame for all their miseries. It's a classic case of Team Chris 
Atlantis, and their alliance with the matriarch has added more fuel to the fire of sibling rivalry. It's pretty clear that they may be a bit jealous of her confidence and her ability to be herself without constantly worrying about appearances. Courtney's individuality, her education, and her laid-back attitude have made her popular among fans, and that might be hard for Kim to handle. Kim has often tried to remind Court that she played a role in making her famous and building her career. Chloe, on the other hand, has also been known to stir the pot and provoke Court, often accusing her of not sharing enough of her life on the reality show. But in reality, Courtney has shared her fair share of personal struggles on the show. It's Kim who seems to be doing the most damage off screen. Kim's called Courtney all sorts of nasty things a buzzkill, a party pooper, and even accused her of failing to contribute to critical global issues. She even had the audacity to label Courtney a fake humanitarian. Ouch, that stinks. You f***ing fake humanitarian hoe. The tension between these two hit its peak during the season 18 premiere, and it even led to a physical fight. The argument escalated, and Court made it clear that if she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and not work as hard as her sisters, that was her choice. Kim responded by calling her names, and it got pretty heated. But you know what? Despite Kim and Chloe's attempts to portray their sister in a negative light, fans recognized that Courtney was facing emotional abuse. People have even pointed out that these two sisters seemed to bond with Courtney more when she was going through tough times, especially during her rocky relationship with Scott Disick. It was almost like they enjoyed seeing her in misery. However, things changed when she found love with Travis Barker. Kim and Chloe's behavior shifted from being unsupportive to outright bullying. When Court became the first Kardashian member to attend the Oscars, Kim didn't even acknowledge it on social media. Insiders suggested that Kim was jealous of Courtney getting more attention. During Court's wedding, Kim's jealousy became even more apparent. She tried to make the moment about her and Kanye's wedding, which didn't sit well with many fans. It seemed like she was mocking her sister's relationship with Travis during her speech. As for Chloe, rumors started circulating that she was also jealous of Courtney's happy marriage because she had hoped to have a similar relationship with Tristan Thompson. While Chloe publicly supported her sister's relationship, her body language betrayed her true feelings when discussing it. And what's more, when Courtney announced her pregnancy with Travis, her family, especially Kim, continued to throw shade. Just days after she shared the exciting news during her Blink 182 concert, Kim made shady remarks on Haley. Bieber's YouTube show, Who's in My Bathroom. Kim seemed to go out of her way to criticize Courtney's past behavior. Now, sources close to court say that she's doing her best to ignore these comments and focus on her pregnancy. However, Travis has reportedly had enough and decided to confront Kim and Chloe. He told them to back off and stop bullying Courtney or face being banned from her life. Courtney herself has indicated that Travis and their kids are now her priority, and Travis has helped her distance herself from her toxic sisters. Fans are thrilled for Courtney and Travis and are praising Travis for standing up for his wife against Kim and Chloe. They believe that she has endured mistreatment from her family for years and is finally finding happiness. But to be honest, Courtney has faced some backlash as well, with some people believing that her issues with Kim run much deeper than just the Dolce and Gabbana deal. There is speculation that her dislike for Kim may involve Travis Barker, which has been a topic of discussion for a while. This stems from the fact that in the past, Kim and Travis had gone on a few dates, and Travis had written about Kim in his 2015 memoir, Can I Say, Living Large, Cheating Death, and Drums, Drums, drums. In his book, Travis described Kim in flattering terms, calling her effing hot and eye candy. He also mentioned their lunch and dinner dates and expressed a desire to be a gentleman towards her. Travis wrote about his interactions with Kim, emphasizing that he wanted to treat her well even though they never got serious or physical in their relationship. He described their time together as sweet and innocent, like little kids. However, he also made it clear that their relationship never went beyond innocent dates and conversations, and they eventually realized they weren't meant to be together. However, Travis's ex-wife later claimed that he had lied in his memoir about his relationship with Kim. She said that she had seen their text messages and that Travis had lied about not hooking up with Kim. 
So, some people have brought up this history to suggest that Courtney's issues with Kim might be related to Travis's past connection with her. Do you think Courtney's sisters are bullying her out of jealousy for her happiness? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the next video!